Hello everyone. Today we are working with natural light, so apologies if it fluctuates a little bit. I will do my best to correct it in post-editing if, uh, if it happens, which I'm sure it will because there are a few little just fluffy clouds popping around today. Today I am going to be talking to you about Serge Lutens. This has been a very highly requested video and it has taken me a while to get around to it, I know. I have six fragrances that I'm going to be talking to you about today. These are the six fragrances. Nine fragrances. I have nine fragrances to talk to you about today. Usually all of my Serge live in that cupboard over there, but I had three out on the display shelf because I, they're ones that I want to wear this season. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, so some of these I haven't had a chance to wear very much yet, so I'm not super familiar with them. Some of them are new bottles, but I've had decants of them, so I have worn them a bit. And then, um, then there are the favorites that I clearly wear a lot. So what I'll do is I'll quickly go through them. Uh, I probably won't go into too much detail about each one, but I'll try and give you a good overview of uh, what they smell like, obviously, that's why you're here. And then one of my subscribers had a really good idea where she suggested that I do an overview of the fragrances that I have from the house and then pick my top three. So that is what I'm going to do today. So I will start with Ombre Sultan. So this is a really beautiful amber scent. I've spoken about this one before. Uh, it has a note of bay leaf in it. And that gives it a very herbal, earthy, dusty vibe to it. I really like it. It's quite unique. It's probably one of the more unique amber scents that I have. Uh, and I really, really enjoy it. It's kind of a little bit peppery too at times. So I really love it. Uh, I don't think it's for everybody, but it's definitely worth trying if you like amber. The next one is a fairly new fragrance in the collection and it is Araby. Now I really like this. This has, this is like spiced fruits. To me. So the notes in this are candied mandarin, dried fig and date and then there's a heap of spices in there as well. Um, I can detect clove and I think nutmeg. It's really, it's really, really nice. I, I still, the problem is I don't know what circumstance I would wear it uh, but I have a feeling that it might be a good, so for those in the northern hemisphere I feel like this would be a really good cooler weather scent so maybe this is something that you could check out now if you're looking for something that's a little bit spicy and comforting and fruity it's really really nice it smells like stewed fruits cooking you know uh, you know that like the spiced fruit that they put in fruit pies fruit mince pies it, it smells a little bit like that to me so uh, I really enjoy this and I can't wait to wear it I've just got to figure out when and where the next one is one that I really really like I I've been through a decant of this and uh, I eventually decided to bite the bullet and and purchase it I was a bit disappointed because when I purchased this particular one it I thought I was buying an older bottle with the old label but it, it came with a new label but that's okay. It is Shergi. I don't think I need to say too much about this either because I think a lot of people have talked about this one already uh, but this is a really amazing tobacco scent. There's a darkness to it. Uh, there's, a, there's a formality about this fragrance. It smells like it's a going out fragrance. I wore this to the opera last year uh, when I had the decant and um, it was really really nice although I did feel a little bit self-conscious because I thought I might have been projecting a little bit too much around me I didn't realize it projected as much as it does um, but I don't think I upset anybody <laughs> but it was a really lovely evening and I really felt that you know I was a little bit dressed up uh, which is quite unusual for me anyway at the best of times. Uh, so I felt like this was the perfect complement to, to being a little bit more formal. So it's really, really beautiful. The next one was an impulse buy. Uh, this is Gris Claire. And yeah, this one was a bit of a, a uh, impulse purchase. A, because I found an older bottle of it, but also because I think it's going to be really great 
for the summertime. And I was a little bit drawn by the name because I am a huge fan of um, Greedy Ore. So I love, I tend to really like the fragrances that have that, that grey name. <laughs> I think it's the vibe that they're going for and I do feel that this one accomplishes that pretty well. Um, it is possibly a little bit more leaning masculine if, 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 you, if you think about fragrances in, in, as being masculine or feminine. Uh, it kind of has a little bit of a, a cologne feel to it. But that's why I like it, because I think I want to wear it in the warmer weather. So, yeah, I really enjoy it. Uh, it ha it's kind of woody, but there's florals in there too. It almost has, even though it's got that cologne feel to it, it almost feels um, just slightly powdery as well. Anyway, I, I really like it. I really enjoy it. Um, I can't wait to wear that one. The next one I'm not going to talk very much about because I've harped on about it enough. It is Santal Majuscule and... You all know I love this. This is in my top five, for sure. Oh, it's so good. Uh, it's a sandalwood fragrance. It's got some rose in there, but obviously it has the cacao note on the top, which just gives it a darkness. Maybe the, the rose gives it some darkness as well. Oh, I just I cannot get enough of this fragrance. It's so good, so, so good. I've got to put it down. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll end up spraying it all over me and I'm already wearing something else today. Um, I'm wearing Petite Grease by uh, Tion Reintel today. That's my scent of the day, in case you were wondering. The next one, number six, is Five O'Clock Eau Gingembre. I'm not going to be able to see that probably. Um, this is spiced ginger to me. It's amazing. Uh, it also has uh, a tea note in it and it's quite woody as well. Um, I don't know what wood though. But it does have like a, it kind of, the woodiness of it reminds me of when you, you have a, a wooden dresser and you open the drawer and it's been, if the drawer is empty, you get that wood. Or if you're in a furniture store and you open the drawer of a, of a dresser and you get that real woody smell coming up at you because it's been in an enclosed space, but there's been nothing in the drawer. That's what it sort of smells like to me. But with um, ginger and um, tea and spices all laid over the top of it. It's really, really good. I, I love that. Okay, next one. Number seven is Detura Noir. This is a really beautiful uh, coconutty tuberose scent. It's kind of a little bit airy. There's an almond note in here as well. So it sort of almost has a little bit of that marzipan -y vibe to it. It's really, really pretty. A lot of people love this one for good reason. And it's really, really nice in warmer weather. So, and it lasts all day long. It's amazing. It's really, really good because it's quite light. You wouldn't think it, it's quite airy and light on your skin. You wouldn't think that it's, it would have the longevity that it does, but it does. It lasts all day. The next one is another one of my favorites, but it's a bit contentious because a lot of people really, really hate this fragrance. It is Nuit de Cellophane. This is a very interesting fragrance to me. And I, some people really don't, I mean, it's not that complicated, I don't think. It's, it's fruity, but it's kind of fleshy fruity. Like if you had a peach and you had the, you could get the texture of the flesh. It's got that sort of feel to it, mixed in with some white florals. It has, um, it's got osmanthus and jasmine in it. Man, it's very sharp. It can be very sharp. So if I overspray this, it can give me a headache very, very quickly, particularly in warmer weather. But I like it because, and I like to wear it in the warmer weather because it, so I just had to change the battery in case the angle has changed <laughs> and you wondered what happened. Uh, so this is a clean, this makes me feel clean, this fragrance, um, but it's not laundry clean, but it obviously has some musks in there that give it that sort of clean vibe. I, um, it could also be the musks that cause it to be a little bit headache inducing for me, but uh, I don't know. I, I really love this. A lot of people really don't like it. I know Elise from Bois de Jasmine hates it. Uh, <laughs> Luca Turin and Tanya Sanchez hate it. Uh, I don't care. I don't mind. I mean, I, people whose opinions I respect a lot, I can understand why they dislike this fragrance, but I, it actually, I think it smells good on me and I really enjoy it. So I like to wear it. And last but not least is Un Bois Veni. It took me a while to get around to buying this one. Uh, I had a decant of this and I also had a decant of 
Oduel, Oduel by Diptyque and I was trying to decide which of the two I wanted and I think I went with this one because I don't know I feel like I just felt like there was more going on with this I'm really loving Benzoin at the moment I think I've mentioned that a few times over the last few months it's just Benzoin's a note that I didn't really appreciate for a long time and now I'm just absolutely loving it so there's benzoin in here there's some spices there's ginger there's an almond note in here as well and it's just yeah I think the eau de well is really lovely as well um, if I remember correctly I think it has a peppery vibe I can't remember but Eve uh, from Eve Spider Smells has done has talked about that one a lot and um, she has done that one great justice so if you want to know what that one smells like I would definitely recommend going checking out her channel because I can't recall enough of it to be able to give it just uh, you know to be able to tell you what the difference is but all I remember is that eventually I came to the conclusion that between the two of those this was the vanilla that I wanted to have in my collection and uh, they were both beautiful though and um, yeah this one's quite quite it's, it's not just your average vanilla okay so it's vanilla but it's not a vanilla vanilla anyway so that is number nine so that that's my Serge Luton's collection and there are others that I would like to get but I'm really struggling to justify buying any more at this point in time I just look Christopher Sheldrake has to be one of my favorite perfumers um, because pretty much anything that he creates I seem to like uh, even even the Serge Luton's fragrances that I don't love that much I still really appreciate so yeah um, I really love this house uh, I just think even with reformulations or rumors of reformulations I still think all of these fragrances are absolutely fantastic Shergi, uh, I think the decant I had was of the old formulation and this one, I mean, it's still beautiful. It's, it's just, and if I, if I hadn't ever had the old one to compare it to side by side, I probably wouldn't even detect any differences anyway. I just, I just think it's, it's amazing. It's really good. So now I have to choose what are my top three? Well, Let's go, let's start with the easy ones, shall we? Um, Santal Majuscule, definitely in my top three. It's in my top five fragrances of all time, so it has to be in my top three here. Uh, I think I also have to pick Shergi uh, because it, it is just that really special, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm dressed for the occasion kind of fragrance. I think everyone needs a fragrance like that in their collection. Oh no, now I've only got one left. <laughs> um, oh, I really want to pick Ombre Sultan, but I, but I don't think, I think if I'm really honest with myself, I think if I'm really honest with myself, I have my number, my third favorite has to be Nui de Cellophane, which is probably going to be controversial because I know a lot of people really, really hate it, but that's okay. It's not about everybody else. It's about me. <laughs> Look, I do. I really, I really like this fragrance. Just don't overspray it. That's all I have to say about that. Um, right. So that's my, that's my little overview of Serge Luton's. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you have any of these fragrances or uh, if there are any others from the house that you have in your collection that you would recommend checking out. Um, I would love to try uh, the Feminate Dubois. I still have not smelled that, but I I'm curious to know what I should be checking out next from, from Serge Luton's. So yeah, leave me a comment below. Let me know. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.